The United Kingdom is currently grappling with a deepening cost of living crisis as inflation rates reach levels not seen in four decades. According to the Office for National Statistics ONS, inflation stood at 9.1% in the year leading up to May, marking an increase from the 9% recorded in April. The last time the UK experienced such high inflation rates was back in the 1980s. Inflation refers to the rate at which prices of essential goods and services rise. It is worth noting that the UK is not alone in witnessing surging inflation, as the cost of gas and grain has been skyrocketing worldwide due to the fallout from the Russia-Ukraine conflict. The ONS figures indicate that food and non-alcoholic drink prices are significant contributors to the current inflationary trend, increasing at the fastest pace since 2009. The Bank of England has issued a warning that UK inflation levels could potentially reach 11% by the end of the year. In response to these concerning numbers, Chancellor Rishi Sunak assures the public that the government is utilizing all available tools to bring inflation under control. However, the opposition Labour Party contends that the government needs more than temporary fixes to address the situation effectively. Our correspondent in London, Laura Macon issued, reports from a bustling market in the heart of the city to gauge the impact of this state on people's daily lives. The market, known as Leather Lane, is a popular destination where people gather to purchase their lunches from various food stalls lining the street. As inflation takes its toll, people are finding themselves with reduced disposable income, while the cost of goods for these stallholders continues to rise. For instance, if we consider today's inflation rate of 9.1% in the 12 months leading up to May, an item that cost £1 a year ago would now cost £1.09. This significant increase poses a dilemma for the stallholders, should they maintain their prices in an attempt to retain customers who themselves have less money to spend? Or do they need to raise their prices? Laura interviews Louise, the owner of a flower store on Leather Lane, who shares her perspective on the situation. Louise explains that while she sells flowers and not food, she has also noticed an increase in costs. This rise can be attributed to the cost of fuel used in transporting the flowers, especially considering that a considerable portion comes from Holland. Additionally, the complications arising from Brexit, such as increased paperwork, have contributed to the overall problems. As a result, Louise has experienced a steady increase in costs and anticipates further rises due to fuel prices. She acknowledges the subsequent impact on pricing her goods and considers the reactions of her customers who are facing similar issues. While she can raise some prices slightly, she aims to maintain competitive prices since people visit the market expecting affordability. Nevertheless, the rising costs have affected her profit margins, a situation faced by many others in the market, including food stall owners who have seen the price of meat increase. When asked about her plans for the future, Louise expresses uncertainty. With inflation rates reaching 9.1% in the last 12 months and the Bank of England's warning of potential further increases, she finds it challenging to predict the outlook for her business. She acknowledges the various costs associated with running her business, such as driving and congestion charges, in addition to fuel expenses. Louise hopes that customers will continue to come to the city center and spend their disposable income, as that is her only recourse. She also notes that a return to a five-day working week, rather than the current three, would benefit businesses like hers, as offices would require more flowers and plants. However, given the present circumstances and the pandemic's impact, many aspects have affected how businesses operate in the area. In conclusion, 